<gasps> oh my god, look at paradise. Oh, look at oh, I really haven't had fish and chips in a long time. Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode here from Clan and Mado guys. If you watched our last video, you know we're on the west coast and we still are for the next little bit. And today we're gonna explore Hockey Tika. Hockey Tika. Hockey Tika. <laughs> Probably like a kind of like a gold mine town plus the, the green stone, the jade is very popular here as well. Yeah. It's kind of very busy because obviously it's just one road on the west coast. So you have a lot of traffic here coming it's through. Yeah. So yeah. it is quite busy. So I'm very excited to check this out. So we're checking out this little town today and we're making our way maybe to the gorge here outside of Hockey Tika. Not sure what the objective is but just exploring the Hokitika and surroundings. Let's make a special day of it. So welcome to the Hokitika town here. So give you a quick insight of the place. So there's the railway hotel. Looks like a, an old kind of western style to it. We're gonna head to a cafe and find some coffee guys along the, the main street here. Oh wow you have some Guinness here advertised. Must be an Irish pub here in town in Hockey Tika. Like I always say, they have an Irish pub in every town you visit actually, so it's funny. They have a South African groceries and cafe. Oh yeah? Oh, pretty nice, yeah? Over here. It's a cafe as well. Do you want to head over there for a the coffee or? Ah, there'd be one down here anyway. It's a funky old place though. It's a funky town. We have a subway, of course. It smells subway from over here, madam. I don't know if I like it. I don't like Subway well. though, no. You have a theater over here. Okay. We're just outside the old theater that was built in 1935. So they gave the same paint job from the 1930s. As you can see, so the same colors from the 1930s. It looks beautiful. And it just gives you that kind of old school vibe. So it's a mix of theater and also coffee, bakery, a bit of everything. So it's beautiful. So they still house uh, movies inside. And it's a really cool idea, really cool concept. It just gives you that kind of vibrant feeling to the town. So they sell a bit of everything. We just ordered our three coffees. We have waffles, coffee and food, maple syrup, and cream, waffles and crepes as well. So we got the good stuff. So we just ordered Clan's coffee fix. I like the cup though. And I got it's very colourful. Chai latte. Very good. I think this is such a cool leaf. It really is. So halo, I don't know. So you got a long black, mm. you got your choy, mm. what did you order? Choy latte? Choy latte. Yeah, and what's good. the taste like? Good. How good? Very good, yeah. Very good. Good job. Good choice. <laughs> and yeah, just give you a quick insight inside. So they do have all the popcorn, the goods, and they have a small, uh, small little cinnamon in here. Plus there's a bigger cinnamon downstairs with 300 seats, which you know, I think they'll actually show you inside, maybe. Sorry, guys. Hello. You work. Are you work? You obviously work here. Um, can I see? Can I check out the cinema downstairs? Can I? Can I check out the 300 seats cinema? Upstairs. Uh, am I allowed to look? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, go for it. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no Thank worries. you. Appreciate that. Thank you. No worries. All right, gonna go check out the cinema upstairs. Oh wow, that's beautiful. So guys, it's very dark. You have the old smell to it as well. So cool. There you go. There's a quick insight of the, the cinema. Yeah. Thank you. Just went inside and checked out the cinema. I have to say the coffee is delicious. It is. It's beautiful. Really nice taste to it. Well, here's the rest of the, the main street here in town. Oh my God. I can't wait to explore and fully embrace this beautiful hockey tika town here. It's definitely very unique compared to most other towns in New Zealand and I'm surprised how busy it is where it's actually sit situated on the west coast guys I know it's very famous here the white bait I'm just trying to figure out what it is exactly so yes we have white bait it's supposed to be popular here in town but I think white it's bait fish. is oh, oh sorry white bait is a fish right I understand sorry and because we're so close to the ocean uh, yeah that makes sense yeah so there's a special fish down this way so I was actually like researching um, for fish and chip shops, but they don't seem really great. They don't seem popular? The reviews are not good? Maybe there's a good fish and chip place in Cremor. That's where we're going to spend the night. There's a gold nugget shop meadow. Wow. 
That's cool. And Glenn, you forgot your gold pan in the car. I left it in the car, guys. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. So we're just exploring the rest of town here. Now uh, it's, it's getting a bit more quiet down this side of town. So you have greenstone jewelry, power, wood. Mm. So it's like a craft store we have here. Nice. The wilderness gallery. How beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Somebody's very creative. Yeah. $89 for this. And we have a gallery here to the right. The Hockey Tika mm. Craft Gallery. Beautiful. And there's a beauty salon. <laughs> and there's a balloon down his team. Flying off freely. I have to... There's a crystal storm at least. Uh, crystal envisions. Guys, I have to say, I'm really loving the vibe here. I did not expect this at all. I didn't even know about this town till we got here. No. So <laughs> I thought we were just driving through. I didn't expect it so big because all the other towns before they were so small. It's a crystal store, your favorite place to go, Madla. Incense. Lovely smell of incense, yeah. So you have the green stones here. So this town is known and famous for the green stone, the jade. Yeah, they sell it everywhere. Oh, wow. You can see that when you walk through town. Can you find it? I'm not sure we could ask. Sorry, where, where, do you, where do you find the stones in uh, New Zealand? So in New Zealand, green stones found on the west coast. The, well, I went to the Jamstone Beach yeah. myself, but you did. No, no look. No, no. So anywhere on the beach on the west coast, you can find it. To yeah. Go on the rivers, yeah. which is where you'll find the bigger pieces. All right, okay. You need permission from local. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so anywhere on the beach along the west coast here, you'll be able to pick it up. It's pretty. It's you have a raw stone there. Is that raw? Yeah, is so it? You're looking at that. See that glow around the torch? Yeah. Ah, it goes right yeah, through I as well. I just feel how solid, non-porous and heavy it is. So that hasn't been touched, has it? Or you polished that already? No, that's just a river rock. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So we're continuing our little adventure around town here. I'm loving this. You are liking it, aren't you? I'm really loving this city. It's beautiful. So I really wonder what's up here now. Oh, madam. I think we have the, the, broad, the broad walk up here. Up oh, into the yeah, seafront. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I can see the water. It's so close. Wow. There's a bar and cafe over here, it's massive. Uh, Hakitika Glass Studio. So you actually do glass blown in there, Mother. I haven't seen a, a shop like that in New Zealand yet. How much is the real estate here in town? I'm always curious about that, actually. Right, that's 400,000 for this little like old house. Hakitika. Hakitika. That's 900k for that. That's expensive, isn't it? That is pricey. That's 539,000. Pretty decent, so when you convert that to euro, it actually works out pretty cheap. Oh, I didn't realize how big town was. It really extends, yeah. continues around the corner here. Oh, okay, well, look, just keeps going around. There's some fat, picky pizzas. You want some pizza, guys? We should head to the, the beachfront now in a moment, no? So they're selling Sorry. more green stones here. They're selling green stones everywhere. There's an ice cream place, real fruit ice cream. There's an ice cream parlor, box of delights. That's the name of the store, Box of Delights. We have an up store, Vinnie's St. Vincent de Paul, I think. The filler bag. It's an up store, yeah. So you have a bit of everything in here. Always looking for a bargain. So what do we have in store? Guys, funny story. On the way here, we drove through a little village and we by accident took the, right, took the wrong turn and then we passed by a tiny house and met this lovely woman. Just had a chat with her, talked about her tiny house because Glenn and I want to build a tiny house in the future. And she has this shop here. So we're going to check this out. I mean, it's not for me, but... Not for you, <laughs> but for me. I love a bit of window shopping and that's really kind of my interest. That's our store, the woman's store. And somebody's working for her in the store, so. What did you get, Mado? Very nice, it's very nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Madeline got herself a bracelet in that boutique store. Just to uh, say thank you for the woman showing her tiny house to us in the neighborhood back in. This is a bench as a book. There is. Oh, look at all the earth on the walls in this, uh, in this alleyway. That's cool. Love it. So just heading to the waterfront. There is. You can hear the waves, Mother. You can hear the waves. I smell the you sea. You smell the sea breeze. It was beautiful. And then you have some ice cream there, Mother. Your favorite thing. But don't be tempted. No, I just bought something. Yeah, you're okay. You bought no something. Ice cream for me. You bought a bracelet. One yeah. of many bracelets you bought in your travels. I bought this one. This is a jade. Look. Oh, it is a jade, yeah. So we're going to walk to the seafront and see what it has to offer. Welcome to the seaside, guys. Maybe you find some gemstones. 
some jade because they're everywhere on the west coast they say wow it's gorgeous it is nice Aww. i'm trying to find the jades now on the beach i think there is a lot of jades on this beach though it looks that way anyway it does you can see it you just have to spot them that's the hard part i'm really loving this i mean i'm really i really like places with the seafront makes it like just makes me so at peace makes me feel so at peace and relaxed yeah, I'm absolutely loving this vibe. Everybody in Okatiki is very like friendly, very relaxed. Even tourists are very relaxed here. So I have to say, like, definitely recommend stopping in Hokitika. Absolutely worth it. So I think I want to check out another bakery or something. Let's get a round two of coffee. You want a round two of coffee? Yes. Oh wow, there's just a chair in the middle of nowhere, Glenn. What does it say? Dedicated to the lives of Henry and Pat Pearson. I don't know who that was, but is he comfortable? We think so. <laughs> I mean, if you call stone comfortable. Yeah. I mean, stone isn't the most comfortable, but... No? But you have a nice view, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Nice view. Look. Wow, I just noticed someone was extra creative here and they made with the, the word Hokitika. Can you read it? Hokitika. Can you read it? Yes, I can read it. That's pretty creative. Yeah. They have a lot of people here in town, you know? Wow. There's really a lot of arty and totally funny people. Look at this. There's a... No, there were people. There was people. So, look Welcome at this. the art gallery. The look at this. Sit down there. The alleyway the, of arts. Sit down there in the book bench. Beautiful. Let's read a book, guys. Project. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever that is. I can't read it. It's like Egyptian or something. A Hebrew. Yeah. <laughs> Another coffee. Taki Tika has been uh, pretty awesome, guys. Second coffee, of course. Why not? We're going back to the car. We're gonna hit the road back into the and onto the side streets here to get back in the car. So I think it's about 30 minutes away to Raymond. So oh, the girls, oops, they couldn't get into the car. Sorry about that, guys. Forgot you didn't have the key. Matter you alright? You chilling out, waiting for me? give you access to the car you have a nice historical building here behind us though oh it's, it's a bit run down can you go inside so guys we have an old historical building here i wonder if you can go inside that'd be pretty cool though it's all boarded up richard john seddon represented westland in parliament 1879 to 1909 and 1906 so there's the individual that looked after this building it seems so 1908 it was established it's a beautiful building run down unfortunately It'd be nice to go inside and check it out though in its current condition can't be breaking in the buildings guys it's illegal how are you buddy you all right on you adventures irish. irish yeah australian eh? yeah nice to meet you pleasure glenn good Paul. Yeah. paul nice to meet you same as my brother oh me me blooming um my long long ancestor is actually blooming um french irish french irish yeah. Heron means heron. Heron, heart. heron, yeah, heart. Pleasure. Good Take morning. care of yourself, buddy. Take care of yourself. All the best. Yeah, I'm talking from uh, sea trees. Made our way through Scotland, England, and here. We're everywhere. <laughs> Take care. Here's an old uh, train station, guys. I think it's, it used to be here, and now it's all gone along the water. I think that guy is struggling on a trip. I don't know what he was up to. I think he was drunk. <laughs> Talking about his Irish ancestors, so which a lot of people like to do here in New Zealand. We like to talk about that they're related to the Irish always, and it's an honor, you know. It really is. It's cool. We have a bit of a historical place here, it's actually cool. So guys, let's hit town. Let's see Grey Mouse. I just don't want to miss anything here in town, so I'm just trying to see everything. Guys, we just really quickly drove to the sunset point here in Hoki Tika, and it's actually a really cool shipwreck. Look at this! Didn't even know there's a shipwreck, but it's made of co out of concrete, so I'm not sure if that was just like kind of a memorial because it was a shipwreck and they just built it so they can preserve it. Out of it. Like, oh, that's the story. Oh my god, I think it's because of all the gold miners came over across the Tasman Sea and then, you know, there were like a lot of accidents and collisions so probably it's kind of more like a memorial i think we're gonna leave hockey tika and gonna make our way to the hockey tika gorge which is a, a 
apparently beautiful gorge but the bridges are damaged so I'm not sure it's a 30 minute drive from Hokitika town to the gorge we're gonna check it out hopefully it's nice and worth it Glenn said it looks like Jurassic Park I mean it's all the landscapes the mountains the hills Welcome to the Hockey Tika Gorge Track. So we're gonna do a quick walk just to freshen up and get our get our nature fix for the day. So it's only a small walk guys. Suspension bridge 20 minutes away, beach access 45, so pretty small walk though. So we're gonna enjoy it. Yes we are. So we can you can't even do a loop. No, you can't you have to walk back. Ah right, okay. Let's walk a bit then. Sweet as track, isn't it? <laughs> so guys, we are started the hockey tiki gorge yeah, heaps track. Of, heaps of fern everywhere. <laughs> yeah, extra funny today. Oh. And it goes to this beautiful bush of this. I really always love when the trees are like full of moss and see all the fern. I think it just looks so cool and tropical. We have a suspension bridge here. Matt, we do. Road. 20 <laughs> people. Oh wow, it's actually new ones. 2020? Yep. They keep getting washed down I the mean, river, so that's why. Suspension bridges look nice, but I don't really like them the way. Oh, it's moving this one. It's a bit similar to the tracks, the great walks. What is it? Oh, oh my god, look at paradise. Oh, look at this. The blue waters of that's, the track. That's that's really blue. We've been to the blue pools on the west coast actually, but like this is more blue than the blue pools. Oh my god, that's absolutely gorgeous. This is beautiful. It's very desirable, you just want to jump in. The temptation is high. You think it's very cold? No, I, I don't think it's that cold, Madeline, to be honest. They have kind of hot weather at the moment, so... Wow! Beautiful! Oh, look at this, that's so beautiful. It is. I think there's people on the river jumping in, Madeline. I think so, yeah. Jeez, you don't want to fall over there. What do you reckon your shirt tells us about? There's a lot of people down there. I think you can jump in the water just below. So... Little paradise below. Wow, water is blue today. <laughs> it's not very common that you see water this blue when you're traveling around New Zealand. I haven't seen blue water like this in a very long time. No. This is a. Uh, don't know why it's. This is insane. Creates, I don't know where that color comes from. So we have the the view platform and the beach access down here below. Everybody's down here enjoying the water because it brings you right down to the water, guys. So access to the beach here and everybody's taking photos down here so I think we're gonna do that as well swimming here is dangerous swimming here endangers your life and the lives of others so strong currents and undertows so yeah swimming isn't advised but maybe if you stay close to the current but I mean if you stay close to the beach maybe it's okay but there we go down to the beautiful paradise Check it out. Strong corns and the toes. Wow. Right, found a little paradise down here. What do you think of it? It's absolutely beautiful. It is. You know, the but temptation like, is there to jump in. But, but like you see already the currents, you know, from the river. Over there, yeah, but yeah, if you're close so to the bank, it should be fine. But like it goes down. I like just didn't bring a towel. So you just say like swimming is not advised. And yeah. I wouldn't swim out, I would probably just stay it's here. It's just a safer ass, really. But I maybe could just put my feet in. I want to see how cold it is. I don't think it's that cold, Maddo. Test so it, cold. test it out, test the waters. What's it like? I wouldn't say it's that cold. Ice Top of the rock there, yeah. Queen of the hill. It's beautiful, guys. I think it's well worth coming here to Hoki Tiki Gorge, but I have to say there's millions of sandflies. And the sandflies aren't very pleasant to bleed in. Like really coming in swarms, army, armies of sandflies. They're coming in pretty hard. You take a small video. Fifty push-ups there, buddy. So we're just twenty-three minutes away from Greymount. Here it is, the sign. So Greymount. Why is there a bridge there in the middle of nowhere? An old um, railway bridge, I think. Yeah. Train. Yeah. That's pretty funny. 
so we're just driving along the coast here. It's looking well, it's looking nice, it's looking fresh. We're ready for the dip, I think. Depending on how I feel later. Well, yeah, I was driving for once. Very surprising to see. <laughs> I usually do all the driving. Supposedly the railway crosses the roundabout, which is very weird. Never seen that before. The roundabout and the railway. <laughs> Fascinating. Where is the honey? At Junction. Oh, there's a honey Where? Yeah, it's closed. Ah, okay. Coffee field honey tasting, yeah. We're just actually going into Greymount now on the way in. It's actually quite big, surrounded by mountains. There's many uh, house and estates that are actually present as well. So. My first impression is tropical. You love saying that, don't you? Everything is tropical for you on the west coast. Not big chance. The house and the states are gorgeous around here, aren't they? We're actually just going to our, our Airbnb right now, so we're just literally two minutes away. On the other side of the bridge here in Greymount. I feel like there's no double story houses though, they're all single, single story houses. Very busy though, didn't expect so many people here. Oh, Maddo, we have a fish and chip on the left there. Are you hungry? I don't know. Grab a fish and chip later. That's a possibility. That's a dairy. Yeah. Right, Airbnb is coming up here on the left. Jeez, that looks like a funky old house. It's a bit run down. Do you need a new paint, Joe? No, yeah. Maybe have a nice vehicle outside for sale. Nice. Loving the house on this day. This is where we're going to be staying tonight. Guys, we just checked into an Airbnb here in Greymount. We have a local fish and chip here in the area. We're gonna check it out. Cobden, Cobden takeaway. So I think it's a dairy slash fish and chip place, which is usually the, usually the case a lot of the time here, and um, especially in the real remote places in, in New Zealand. But I mean, Greymount is quite busy. But it seems like a popular place. It has 4.5 rating, so we're gonna check it out now. Let's go, Mato. I even smell it from here. It smells beautiful. Oh my god. I can smell the fish and chip from here. Just gonna wait for Meadow. Guys on the spot it looks absolutely jammer as it goes. So busy. Oh my god. It's busy here. Very busy, yeah. This place is a popular spot. Oh my god. There you go, it must be a good spot. It must be the hospital oh, in town. I really haven't had fish and chips in a long time. Well, looking forward to myself. Uh, we have some uh, wet time. I have my own tomato sauce in the car. Thank you. Well, what's on the menu? Fish is 4 50 That's a pretty good, decent price. Many options here. So, full scale of chips. Skip chips, full scale, 4 50 And the fish. Get two of each, Madeline. Okay, two. Extra hungry, yeah? Party packs. <laughs> we even have special promotional packs here. All the ladies getting the fish and chips here in town. Tartar sauce. You don't want to eat the whole bottle, do you? Huh? Oh, there. Too turkey, yeah. And you have the Wattis, the Wattis tomato sauce, of course. Always, always have them on display, don't they? The tomato sauce. Any of these we want? No. Just this one. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. It's a lot of chips, yeah. I think she's already got the sauce, did she? No, she never took it. She never took it with her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good stuff. Hey. Boy, he's got good stuff wrapped in a newspaper the old fashioned way. Absolutely gorgeous. I find it funny the way it's a mixture of the dairy and the fish and chip place. So they sell the, the milk, the bread, everything in there. It's like kind of fascinating. Though. That's a real Kiwi thing. You wouldn't get that in other countries like Ireland, you know, you wouldn't have that in Ireland at all. A mixture of both. It's just in New Zealand. Yeah. Sell all the tomato sauce in the bottom and all. So I'm just waiting for Madeline. She's coming to pick me up. Why not record? Successful transaction, Madeline. Got the fish and chip. We're on the way to the beach now to enjoy and style. There is a parking the spot. Local location where all the locals eat the fish and chip. Yeah, I don't think they walk this far, though, Madeline. That's why I'm just trying to drive till the end. Okay, fair it enough. Fair enough. Not... I don't know, we have an issue. We have an issue. We have a situation. We have all the seagulls. Actually, the, we're talking to some locals and they told us to come down here to the seafront where they are actually enjoying that fish and chip as we speak, right there on the rocks. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. There's a few people uh, surfing outside. 
Oh, what a spot. What a spot. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, there's Greymount there in the, in the background. Sorry guys for ruining the reputation of the local tomato sauce, but we have Heinz tomato sauce and we actually prefer that. So she has the good stuff in the back for the chips. Madeline, you got it? Where's the fleeing fish? Oh my god. That's a lot of fish and chips, isn't it? Where's the fish? It's under. Under the chips now. Oh, the seagulls, man. Found it. Hey, open that, let's see. Found it. Oh, there's the fishies. How many fishes are there? One or two? Ooh. What? Ooh. Two. That's a lot of chips, aren't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. Mm. How's the, the chips, chips Madeline? Are amazing. How good are you talking? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> I mean, great way to finish this day. That oh, yeah. Them yeah. chips are lovely, Madeline. Hmm? Them chips are absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Hard to say I'm really enjoying them chips. Mm. What's mm. the fish? Fish is good. What fish do you think it is? I don't know. I'm not sure either. There's so many different white fishes in we New Zealand. A, it's it's actually hard to tell. There. Yeah, these won't piss off. <laughs> Wait! Oh God. You're already putting the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> mm. It's good, very good. I'm actually pretty happy with the price as well because it was only $5 for the fish and $5.50 for a big scoop of chips stuff. So $20 for all of this. How many? $20. Well, it's less than 20, that. 20 something, no? Damn. Mm. So five, ten, yeah, for $20. Because, we because you've got the big chips. It's, you can get a half a scoop, which is three fifty, dollars or... And like $2.30 Tartarises, and I have to say this Tartarises is really good. So I think it was worth a good investment. You're talking like 12 euro, 13 euro. I think I have a food coma. Oh. After eating all them chips, madam. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, they said so many chips. They give so many chips in that portion of chips. So lot. good, I mean it is great. They're not scabby with the portion anyway. Well god god jeez, that, that was that was beautiful. I'm, was I'm really stuffed good. now. I have so much salt, my mouth's all dry now. I need some spot, water. On the spot in Crema. Oh yeah. 4.5 rate them. Yeah, and definitely make sure you come to the beach. Yeah. Over the, see the, the beach. Everybody's watch, doing a bit of watch the surfers. surfing on the on the waves here. We're just watching. We have a show here while having fish and chips. It's great. It's pretty awesome. Right. Guys, we are at the northern shipwreck point. It's absolutely beautiful. If you if you in Primas, definitely make make your way onto the water and enjoy a moment, eat some food, have a picnic, or just like watch the sunset. If you. So guys, we're going to finish this episode with a bang. Very productive day, long day, lots of driving. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Quite random, but we will catch you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below and catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, this place is beautiful. So, so many people walking it's around. so busy actually. I did not expect I this for, uh, for the South Islands. I don't know.